Towards the end of Monkey Island 2, LeChuck's Revenge, LeChuck captures Guybrush and describes his plans for his titular revenge. It's gruesome. But step one is dissolving both you and Wally in acid, and you're gonna need to use your own gross bodily fluids to escape. Or Wally's even grosser bodily fluids if you're playing light mode. But if you don't solve this in time, you will fall into the acid pit. Seeing Guybrush and Wally fall into the acid pit may be a bit nerve-wracking, because by the time the game gets here, you're likely to forget that the story is being told in flashback. You honestly expect me to believe you were disintegrated in acid? Sure, well, I... And yet here you are telling me all about it, looking very integrated indeed. Yes, well, that is, uh... Okay, so I embellished it a little for dramatic effect. Now, it's true that it might take you a little while to get the angle of your spit just right in this part, so it is possible to stumble your way into this death, but much like drowning in the first game, they do give you a lot of time here, so if you know what you're doing, you almost have to try to make this death happen. It takes a lot of waiting around. Uh, excuse me, Mr. Brush. Shouldn't we do something? Eh. Nah. I really want to see what happens when that candle burns through that rope. Well, I think what happens is we both die. I would rather we not do that. Sure, sure, we'll die, yes. But it'll make a much better story when I tell Elaine about this in a few days. Wouldn't that be a cool detail? Death? That's it. I'm joining LeChuck's crew. Call me Bloodnose from now on. <laughs> 